Grandpa's a kind of a goofball in a way. But when it comes to martial arts and stuff, he's pretty cool. Yeah, like he'd slaughter 50 guys in two seconds. Shut up. You shut up. Just go. We've been training since we were really little. You're still really little. Jerk! <laughs> With all our ninja training, we thought we were ready to be ninjas. Well, it was a good thing that we were, because that was a summer that we would never forget. <laughs> <laughs> in a non-smoking section. Yeah, we almost had you. Yeah, we almost had you. Had me? Oh, uh, Michael. What? If I hadn't stopped the car, you would have been called Pancake by now. <laughs> you would have stopped. OK, guys, but now? <laughs> Let's attack him again. <sighs> ah, two lessons you have to learn from this battle. Number one, never attack. Unless you're gonna win. And lesson two? Don't climb a tree that's full of thorns. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Grandpa, where'd you get that ugly mask? This mask my father gave to me on my day of names. And I will continue this tradition with you. The day of names. We've already got names, Grandpa. Ah, you may have family names, but not ninja names. All right. Samuel. Sir. From this day forward until forever, you shall be known as Rocky, because you are strong, solid, and cool as granite rock. Awesome. Yeah. Jeffrey. Ah. Fast and free, spirit of the young wild horse. You shall be known as Colt. Colt? That's cool. What about me? Can I be Monster Destroyer? Or how about Super Killer? How about Super Dork? Shut Baz. A little one. Since your energy begins and ends with your tummy, you shall be known as Tom Tom! Tom Tom! <laughs> I can't wait to show these to Dad. He'll hate them. Grandpa, will our dad be home tomorrow when we get back? 
Well, he's a busy man in a very troublesome job, Tum Tum. We're almost there. On time, as promised. It is a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Schneider. Now, on behalf of the people of my country, I would like to say... you're under arrest. Freeze, Schneider, FBI! <laughs> Surprises. <laughs> the FBI! <laughs> nice of you to drop in. <laughs> Agent Green is okay, and we got everything. We got guns, the mortars. It's like a warehouse for World War III. We got it all. We got nothing. I want Snyder. He's everything. I want him. I gotta go. Bye. I hear they almost got us, boss. Me. Got me, Brown, not us. My skin was on the line today. That was Sam Tucker, for God's sake. I know him when I work with Mori Tanaka. That FBI guy is a ninja, too? Are you kidding, huh? Douglas despises martial arts. That little jerk is married to Mori Tanaka's daughter. Our luck, old man Mori went and married his daughter off to a fed, huh? <laughs> Mr. Brown, this afternoon we pay my old friend Mori for a little visit. Right. I'll have him home for dinner tonight. 
ninja training is good for the boy. Who's this in the picture? Uh, okay. It's your grandmother. Okay, okay, but... Um, I know he hates who, it, but... Whose hand is that? Talking to your mother. I, I know your husband hates it, but... Okay, Jessica, I may be wrong, but... should spend more time with his own children. Who's coming? Oh, what is a ninja? A ninja is one who can use everything around him to trick his enemies. He is fast, and he is friendly to his environment. A ninja is honest and good. His mind, body, and spirit are one. He has self-control. He has discipline. A ninja loves nature. Uh, because she is fond of nature. Uh, a ninja never fights a battle if he cannot win. A ninja. Mind, body, spirit. Hearts are one, and never use your power on anyone weaker than yourself. Hey, almost everyone is weaker than me, Grandpa, and slower. Mm. Don't be overconfident. Yeah, don't be overconfident. Okay, Grandpa. Bright, give me your hand. Love and trust be one. Just as a rope of one strand can be broken, a rope of four strand, no enemy can break. Grandpa, who is that? Stay here and eat. Grandpa, what's going on? Rocky, let me see it. Shut up! Act like ninja, not little babies. What did I do? Sir. 
<laughs> well, you're looking good. You passed my little test, partner. Snyder, the only mistake I ever made was being partners with you. Your mistake was quitting. I made a fortune on those karate studios. Blood money. Come on. <laughs> You're living in this junky place. You obviously can't find many students. I mean, look at these three runs. They are not students. They're family. Maybe they like to work for me. I teach ninja, not murder. Look. I want you to train my men. As you can see, they're kind of helpless. Hmm? You get back into training. And I'll pay you a fortune, huh? Hmm? Is that all you want? Actually, no. It's your son-in-law, Sam Douglas. Get him off my back for a couple weeks. For his sake. And yours, not for mine. Or else you not only lose the money, you may also lose the son-in-law. And who knows? Douglas out of the way, there may be no one left to defend the honor of your beautiful daughter. <laughs> you are getting slow. Old man, take the money. Talk to Sam Douglas. Get him out of my life. Hmm? Or I will rip out your heart. you I needed your help. I thought I told you to stay in the house. Yeah, Ninja shouldn't be overconfident, Grandpa. That's true. Come here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. that's awesome. Quiet, boys. Oh, sir. sir. Before I show you this, you must promise me you will not use this knowledge unless you're in severe danger. That you can only, only use this technique to save your lives. You promise this? Sir! There are a few places on the body that if you hit, the person will remember nothing except how much it hurts. You can be sure the person will not want to continue the fight. <laughs> Rocky. Sir. I want you to hit right there. Ah, yeah. See? See? Ah, now. I want you to hit right there. But, Grandpa, that's the same spot. Oh, no, it isn't. Now, hit. Ah, yeah. You see? Half an inch between life and death. Now, I want you to hit here, 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 and here. I want you to practice for one hour, and then we'll go back to the city. Grandpa, I like it. One hour. Now, practice. What was with that guy in the white suit? I don't know. From the way he acted with Grandpa, I think the whole attack was fake. Hey, those swords were real, buddy. I still don't know. I think he's just an old friend of Grandpa's. He didn't look very friendly to me. Look who's here. Shut up, Colt. It's a girlfriend. Look, she's chasing after us. She's not my girlfriend, okay? You gonna kiss her? Yeah. Are you gonna kiss her? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna kill you two if you don't shut up. <laughs> hey, there's Dad! 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 Dad!
Remind me, we got that briefing at 6 o'clock. And I need that ballistic report. Hey, guys, <laughs> how was your summer with Grandpa? Great. I want to show you a lot of stuff we learned. Look, Jeffrey, show me that you're stuff later, Jeffrey? will you? It's cool. Yeah, no, not Jeffrey. Sam. I'm Rocky. Sam. Sam. Michael, you're Tum Tum? Yeah, you see, I'm cool because I'm fast. He's Rocky because he's solid. And he's Tum Tum because he'll eat anything. I won't eat dog poop. It's bad enough he's got you doing karate all summer. What, they need new names? I like my new name. Sam! Come on, Sam, we gotta roll! Look, boys, I, I gotta go. I'm glad you're back. Don't forget to kiss your mother hello, Jeffrey. It's cold. Did I hear your new name is Aki? No, it's just a new name my grandpa gave me. I like that name. It's cute. Uh, I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Bye. Hi, Mom. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Hi, Mom. Oh, there she go. Huh? <laughs> Let me down. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I think you're going to make a great ninja warrior. Whatever. You think being a ninja's hard work? Try being a mom. Mr. Brown, I want you to snatch those three little kids and hold them as insurance until the deal with Colonel Burke is done, huh? Douglas doesn't dare touch me if I've got his kids. You should have grabbed them when you were up at the cabin. Oh! But I guess you knew that already. Snatch those kids without getting caught, or I'm going to crush your head down to a slimy ooze comes out of your eyeballs. No, no problem, boss. I'll, I'll get right over there. Mr. Brown! Yeah. The feds have us all under surveillance. Every move we make, they're watching. We need some outside guys. Hmm? Uh, if, if I may suggest, Mr. Snyder, Three guys who did some, some messenger work for us a few times. My, my sister's kid and, and his buddies. But they're, they're terrific. Make the call. <laughs> Tell me, have they studied the masters of our Eastern philosophy like our other men? Why, well, I, I don't know for sure. But I know they do a lot of reading. Well, I must say. I would most certainly consider getting radical on some lonely, misbegotten beach with this babe. She is beauty for modern man to enjoy. Jeez. Hey, amigos, this is no library. You buy or you go. Oh, my apologies, my good man. Hammer, go score the frozen fruit concentrate and those gnarly little snack cakes. No sweat, dude. Cool. Marcus, score some nacho chips and some radical salsa. Dude, none of that green stuff. Dude. And you, my good man? Open up the cash register. That's right, dude. Us three boneheads are sticking you up. Dude. Now open up that register before I have to get nasty. Clap, clap, let the hell. Excuse me, sir. Can I please use your telephone? Mr. Festin. Good. Uh, listen, I want you to drop what you're doing. I got a job for you and your boys. You have my undivided attention, sir. All right, listen. We want you to snatch a few kids for us. Would these be like any kids, or do you have some specific ones in mind? There are three very specific little boys. You got a pen? Here's the address. Six, two. Three, North Pacheco. That's 623. You got that? Cover his ears, dude. Okay. You remember six. You remember two. I remember three. Pacheco. Okay, I got it, sir. Get right on it. Festin, don't screw this up. 
or we'll have to kill you. Summer. Veronica. You got a job, dude? Did. Did. Your boys will take care of the kids. Then I'll put the screws on Douglas. Mr. Brown, fax Colonel Furick and tell him we can ship the missiles in two days. God, I'd love being a bad guy. <laughs> School bites it. I want to stay with Grandpa. Yeah, me too. Did you guys shut up? Mom won't hear you. Oh, say hi to your girlfriend for me. Yeah, say hi to your girlfriend for me. She's not my girlfriend, okay? Rocky loves Emily. Rocky, Rocky loves Emily. Emily. Rocky loves What's Emily. What's going on? My brothers are retarded. What time are you guys gonna go to school tomorrow? Around quarter to eight, I guess. Emily. Rocky loves Emily. Rocky loves Emily. I'll ride with you. Fine, but don't be late. Rocky loves Emily. Rocky loves Emily. Mom's coming. Stop. Gotta go. Bye. Should we tell Dad about the guy we saw Grandpa with? We'll tell him tomorrow. Go to sleep. Hey, you guys. Got any stash of jelly beans? You want them? No. Good night, Rocky. Night, Tum Tum. Good night, Cole. Good night. <coughs> Choked on a jelly bean. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Marsha Brady or Laura Partridge? Rather right? do Laurie. <laughs> okay, cool. Sir, Cheryl Ladd or Fair Hustle? Uh, Tony Roberts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Ditch, 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 ditch. Men, it's time for some excellent breaking and entering. Those guys look like feds or something. Dude. What are we gonna do, man? We've all got guns, dude. Well, my dangerous buds, tomorrow is another day. And those little dudes are ours. Slurpee? Radical. Slurpee? Dude. We're out of here. <laughs> to our family, old friend. Where is my notebook? How do you check your backpack? I know, I left it right here. Rocky, get your feet off the table. Is Dad getting up? He left, sweetie. He's gone. No! Let me down! Somebody get the door! I got it, I got it! Where's my backpack? Hi, you guys ready? Hi, yeah. Come on! Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Mrs. Douglas. Where's my backpack? Honey, look, right here, baby. Here, here you go. Cold Tom Tom, let's go. All right, you watch. Okay. Have a nice day.
awesome. Mr. Mountain Man, catch you later. Looks like it fit my little sister perfectly. So off. Look, I'll get your bike back. Trust me. Ooh, busted. Festin, this is not going to please Mr. Snyder, if you know what I mean. Well, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, but you must understand the situation was intense. <laughs> I mean, there were FBI guys there. Uh, and you had previously indicated that you wished us to maintain, like, a mega serious level of silence, sir. The place was swarming with feds, boss. Look, you just get those kids tonight. Before midnight, do you understand? Wow. Brown, back those guys up if you have to, but Brown. I want those kids. Hey, dude, what time does school get out? I don't know. I never stayed to the end. <laughs> dude! Wes and Eggers could kill anybody. Bruce Lee could kick shorts and Eggers' butt. Give us the ball back. Oh, does the baby want his ball back? We gonna have to play a sport. What's the matter, you deaf? You wanna play or not? Yeah. We'll play you. Two on two. For how much? How much? We're not supposed to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> what am I hearing? We're not supposed to gamble. Well, I wouldn't want to do anything to make your mommy or your daddy spank you. <laughs> what do you want to bet? Colt? Colt? <laughs> what a name. <laughs> yeah, little horsey. How about some hay? Laugh. <laughs> Colts don't. Well, punks. I seem to be collecting quite a few bikes today. How about we play for yours? When we win, what do we get? Well, if you win, me and my buddies will let you walk out of here without busting up your faces. Ooh. How many points do a game? Ten, duh. Fine, we'll spot you nine. You take first out. Nine point lead. Cake. Now, Colt, no matter what, no fighting. Oh, come No on. fighting. Man, with a nine-point lead, they're dead. Let's whip their butts. Can you hold my hat? Why are you showing off? 
I'm not showing off. I'm playing basketball. Nice walk home. Without your flight. Oh, please, Rocky. I don't care. Are you guys okay? Emily, I'll get your bike back. Forget it. Well, there you are. You should be getting ready for bed. It's 9 o'clock. Where's Dad? He's working late again on this case, honey. I'm gonna go meet him right now. Is he gonna tell Grandpa not to teach us anymore? Honey, we'll see, okay? Dad's been pretty upset about his work, and I don't think this is the best time to ask him. Who is this bad guy, anyway? Well, there's a picture of him right there on the top of that file. What time are you guys coming home? Late. Now, you'll be good. Okay? Ty, 
guys, guys, check this out. This is the guy from yesterday. He's the one Dad's after. Grandpa is friends with the criminal. No way. Yes way. It says so on the back. Hugo Snyder, uh, business associate, Mori Tanaka. That's Grandpa. You think Grandpa's a crook too? Go oh, come on, no way. But it says he's friends with that guy. And we saw him joking around with Grandpa yesterday. We gotta tell Dad. We can't tell Dad. If he knows that they're still friends, he'll never let us see Grandpa again. Can't believe Grandpa's a bad guy. He's not. Is he? Okay, dudes. Operation Kick Butt is about to commence. Synchronize watches. What time is it? I don't know. Anybody got a watch? Awesome! awesome. <laughs> it's like Fester. How are we gonna get into the house, dude? That's a very good question, oh gnarly one. Dude! Seems that Providence has shined her lovely light upon us, boys. It's pizza time. <laughs> Come in, Rocky. Rocky, are you there? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Rocky, is that you? It's Emily. She wants to talk to Rocky. Rocky loves Emily. Tell her I'm busy. He says to say he loves you. Rocky loves you, Emily. Look, I can't talk right now. I got a ton of homework. You know, my parents are gonna kill me if I don't finish. What's going on over there? Oh. <laughs> Who is it? Pizza, ma'am. We didn't order any pizza. Uh, some kids call. And if you don't pay, We'll, uh, we'll keep you your house. I'm <laughs> 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 cool, bro. Dude, it's sensitive. Much better. Okay, first we feast, then we felony. Guys, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, the delivery guy just cleaned the babysitter with the pizza. Awesome! The bad news is, they're carrying guns. Okay, okay, don't panic. We'll call the police. Duh, there's no phone in here. Um, Emily, we'll call Emily and she'll call the police. Hold it. Rocky, this could be our chance. If we can take these three robbers ourselves, then maybe Dad will see that our ninja training's worth it. Yes! Should we do it? Let's moralize them. And this kidnapping is so much better than armed robbery. Dude, yeah, I, I never got a pizza on a robbery. Dude, I know, and it's good za, too. Hey, you know, we should save some of this for the kids we're napping. Dude, they're probably pretty nice kids. Where are all the weapons, the slingshot, the knife throwers? Dad hit them. He doesn't want us messing with them. Oh, great, so what are we gonna use against those guys with guns? Okay, you dudes ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa. Cool room. Dude. A little dudes. P 
pizza's here. Where are those little boogers? As a little booger, where would I be? Mom and Dad's room. Come on, you guys. Last one out closes the door. <laughs> okay, Colt, you've got the room at the end of the hall that Mom is redoing. Check. Tom Tom, you've got the kitchen. Check. Now, guys, prepare for phase one. Okay, little D. We know you're in here somewhere. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to kidnap you. <laughs> There's no possible way you can be downstairs. Okay. Uh, Dude, what happened? You hit me! Two little other jerks. If you get those two, the third is most sure to follow. Still locked. Pull harder. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> 
took the CD. Get him, kids. Here they come. This will scare him. <laughs> Oh! 